Do you do you wake up complaining for no reason? Do you just have something always negative that the hell is saying? That could be a demonic possession. Change in person's voice. Hey, honey. Uh, have a good day. Ah, I hate you. You better tell the hell. Uh, hey, baby. Um, I had a good day at work. And they get real, 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 uh, chowers. Hey, but that's where I was, I was playing with my... Playing with my game with my phone, yeah. But all of a sudden, you know, man, and you know, you don't talk to me, you know, but don't say, but it was like a, you know, like, hold up, you, are you a man? You a baby, you a baby, yeah. Or are you a beast, or are you a human? You, uh, damn, you, you don't know what the hell this thing is, right? Now, there's another one, though. Supernatural strength, not subject to the person's built or age. Now, this is not limited to demonic. This could be limited. This could be attributed to being protected. Because I'm guilty of that at times when I'm in the right. And like I said, we, we've had some experiences where we had to fight four or five men at one time. And the Most High has given us a strength that uh, uh, they won't do that no more to this very day. Uh, and we attribute that to the Most High, not to ourselves, uh, for the sake of righteousness, not personalism. Uh, supernatural strength, not subject to the person's build or age. You ever see that little female uh, whoop the hell out of that big girl? Or that little, or that little guy whoop the hell out of that big guy? Or a small group overcome a big corporation or something like that. But they still, you know, we, so we're just saying different possessions. But we're going to get past that because that's that kind of, kind of, you know. Uh, let's get to another one. Speaking another language which they had never learned before. Now, this is a huge in the, the so called black church. Speaking in tongues. Come on, we're speaking in tongues. No, you ain't. You're devils. Right here. Speaking another language which they had never learned before. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say that speaking in tongues was some attribute of the Most High. Never said that. And who taught you how to speak in tongues? In Acts chapter, uh, uh, it, it said they were speaking in their own language. So if you speak five or six different languages, and you was preaching in all five or six different languages, then you were literally speaking in tongues. So to the person who can speak more than one language, big up, that, that's called speaking in tongues, so you can preach and teach in tongues, many tongues. But that, uh, what the hell is that? That is nothing spiritual, that's demonic. How we know? Because the Catholic exorcists just tell it. And tell it, let me show you again. Signs of demonic invasion. This is what we're talking about. The procedure of signs of demonic invasion. And it says, speaking in another language that they had never learned before. That language is that of the Asiatic Hebrew Muslim language. It is not of our culture. It is not of our ancestry. None of that. Where did you learn that from? Where did you get that language from? And then you go to church, put your hands on people, in the name of Jesus, and then dance on the folks' money. But meanwhile, you go outside, and your community is dying. So much is speaking in tongues. So it's obviously a demonic spell. Right now. Go to your local church in the community that your church is sitting in, and listen to that super similar blah, 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 blah. And then look around, look at the results of that speaking in tongues, and say, that got to be demonic because nothing's growing. Except for the church, the church people and the money that's coming in there. But none of that, none of the good health of that so-called church is spreading, spreading out to the people in the community that which that sits in the middle of. Because the church should be the heart of the community. And it's obviously if the community is dead, 
then the church has no heart, and the heart is what? Dead. And if the heart's dead, then it means there's no what? Blood flow. And if there's no blood flow going through the heart, or through the brain, or through the body, or through the limbs of the community, then what? It's a carcass, a dead body. So obviously, the dead body is being resurrected by <laughs> demons. It's an empty house. You see it? It's happening now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. It's now. And you can see it, but you big hats don't want to sit in the body. Next one. It's almost over. Boundary reaction towards all religious objects or items. Uh, uh, uh. No. It says in scripture, it says that a demon can't argue with itself. So when it sees the mirror like a vampire, when it sees its own reflection, it has a problem with it. So I don't have a problem with you putting a cross on my head and your five-pointed stars and all I don't have a problem with that. Real spiritual people who are with the truth, real spiritual people who have masters of the unseen reality, those who have the, the, the know-how and the, and the truth in them, the righteousness with them, have no problem with this. Uh, uh, I have not having a violent reaction towards all religious objects and items. And whatever your religion is, it don't bother us. Why? Because we're not wicked. We're not evil because it ha we know that it has nothing to do with the Most High. If we was demons, argue with other demons, then we'd be in competition. Like, oh, I don't want to see that cross. Oh, I don't want to see that star of crescent. Oh, I don't want to see that eight-point star. I don't want to see the gods, all them gods of Greece. I don't want to see all them gods of uh, 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 of Egypt. I don't want to see the, 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 the god of all these gods of Baal. I don't want to see that. I don't get time for that. Because it will expose your devilish, devilish ways. It will expose the devil in the demonic ways in you. And then eventually you'll have to deal with that. And a lot of you don't want to do that, really. For real, for real, a lot of you don't want to do that. We're going to go through the rules of exorcism, and that should be it. Now, the rules of exorcism must be done by a priest with the proper authorization and should have the proper knowledge to perform an exorcism. When we're just talking about the unseen realities, you must have experience in the unseen reality. You must have victories and overcome. And first and foremost, foremost, you, your soul, no, excuse my tongue, your spirit must be rooted in the universal truth and harmony and laws and principles. Then your heart must be prepared to set that throne, put the Most High as a throne. Your heart must be the throne of the Most High. That throne must overrun your whole temple, which is your heart. Your mind, the, the electrical part, the, 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 not the flesh and the blood yet, but the, the electrical, the atom in it, the ATOM, the molecules, the neutrons, the electrons, the, uh, it, it must, that, that, the, the, that spirit, that, that Ya Allah must, that, that true spirit, that universal spirit, that, that non- uh, 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 destruct that, that cannot be destructive spirit. Shit. And we'll leave that like that. Peace.